for this thing I love. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm a board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist in New Jersey. On today's video, we are going to remake an old video that I did during the Pandy Wandy way back when, when I was a lowly fifth year resident. I've come a long way since then, so obviously things have changed especially my doctor's bag. So on today's video, we are going to go through my brand new doctor's bag and uh, show you what's inside. So without further ado, let's open it up and get to it. Let's go. All right, so since I'm a big, bad, board certified attending now, I switched some things up a little bit. I don't have that backpack, but that thing, that old Herschel backpack, man, that thing lasted me some quality times with that thing, quality times. But we moved on to, drum roll please, this brand new backpack from Delroy. Not sponsored by the way. However, I'll tell you a little story about how I received this backpack and that is I got a little greedy. So I reached out to Belroy after being a victim of advertisements and I saw the duffel bag which you saw on my Italy travel vlog and as you're watching this video, I'm currently in Paris and I'm bringing that along for that trip as well. So I saw that duffel bag on Instagram or whatever and I was like, oh my God, I have to get that bag. So I reached out to them and said, don't wanna be sponsored, could you just kindly send me a bag? And they're like, no problem, we'll send it to you. And then I was like, but I also like the backpacks too. Could you send me one of those too? And they're like, no problem. So shout out to Bellroy. They sent me this just as a nice little gift. I think it runs for like 200 something. Let me, let me check. So it is the Transit Backpack. It's like $230 on Bellroy. I don't have a discount or anything because I'm not sponsored, but you should get it because first of all, I use this thing for everything, especially work, but this thing, I love. Okay, let's get into it. I'm just gonna show you this bag as I go through it. So, the laptop portion, have my charger, obviously. This, I can't, this new charger for the MacBooks, it's so tangly and very, it doesn't wrap around easily, which is kind of annoying. That's what I put up there, and there's like a separate compartment for the actual charger in here. I don't know if you can see. And then the laptop goes in behind, but obviously my laptop is right here. So it's a 2021 MacBook, 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's like super powered, as high as you can get. It's not the brand new one that came out like two weeks ago, but that one's boss. However, I kind of want the new one now because they have a little SD card reader and I currently have to do this for my SD cards, but nonetheless, beggars can't be choosers. So next thing I carry with me to work every day is just my iPad, nothing too fancy with this. The only reason I carry this to work is for one, I have a few textbooks on here that I like to look stuff up with or, you know, that I'm used to looking at, or I just mostly listen to Spotify. I mean, I travel with it, I watch Netflix on planes and stuff with it, but yeah, it's mostly Spotify. It's an expensive Spotify device. All right, the next thing, I mean, this bag keeps getting better. So this that was the laptop pocket, and then there's this little zip pocket up here. This is for your sunglasses. However, since I don't wear sunglasses at work, but I do wear my trusty Stoggles. So you guys see me advertise for Stoggles before. I wear these for every single procedure that does not require fluoroscopy. So I wear these for everything. These glasses are so good, so comfortable. I've given them to some of my nurses as well. And uh, if you don't own Stoggles, then where are you at? <laughs> No one's gonna get that reference. If you don't own stoggles, what are you doing? So that's that. All right, next we'll get into, how about we get into these side pockets back here that you can't even see by the way. So there's like these deep side pockets for water bottles or whatnot, you can fit anything. What I do is I put my car keys in here because there's a little thingamajigger that you can hook your car keys on. Keep these here, always know where they're at. Boom, car keys. All right, now let's get into the meat of it. I love this bag so much. So this thing opens like a clamshell. My other backpack was deep, but this one opens completely open. So I'll demonstrate. Look how much stuff you can put in here. Crazy, right? Let's just go in one by one. I'm just gonna reach out of here and whatever I pull out, that's what we're talking about. The water bottle. This is a must have. Actually, I'm kind of thirsty right now. This is a water bottle, bringing this to work with me every single day. It's important to stay hydrated, folks. I try to drink one of these throughout the day and then I also have like a big seltzer as well. But sometimes I still feel like I'm not hydrated enough. Shout out to my old apartment in Durham, North Carolina. That's where I got that. Next up on the list, this is like a travel hack doctor bag video because like I said, by the time you're watching this video, I'll be in Paris. And I had one of the techs I worked with hook me up with a few masks. You'd be like, yeah, I know, like 
Obviously you wear masks on plane, but no, this is travel hack. For those of you who don't do this, you must do it because for long haul flights, like when I went to Italy, when I went to Hawaii, eight, 10 hour plus flights, to wear those masks, the loop mask around your ear, I mean, I get the worst headache after like two hours and it's so tight and so restricted back here and I have a big face, big nose, so it's like super tight and pulls on my ears and gives me a headache, so I can't wear it a whole flight. But if you get one of these, surgical mask with the tie on, tie this bad boy up, it just stays on your face, but it's lightly tied up around your neck and head. You can sleep, you can do whatever you want. You can pull it down, drink, pull it back up. This is the best mask. So travel hack, don't wear the loop behind the ear mask. Call your favorite healthcare provider. Tell them to get you some masks that go behind your head and neck. Saves you, I promise. All right, next up, the, I, don't, I don't even know what this is, to be honest with you. It always ends up in my bag somehow. I think Andreana may use this or something. Just kidding. It's a stethoscope. I don't use these. I never use these. I will never use them again because my line of work does not require them. <laughs> it's actually Andrana. She'll kill me if I throw it. So I'll, I'll place it down here. We have Cellini. These are my Nike radiation safety glasses. You've seen me wear them before with some anti-fog solution. So I wear these. Some of the stuff you saw in my last video, I haven't changed it in two years because, I mean, you know, I'm a creature of habit. But these are the glasses. Oh, they're dirty. These are the glasses I wear for every procedure. These are radiation proof, so they block x-rays. They're lead-lined glasses. They're pretty fire, though, you know? You know, these are my favorite glasses. They even put my name on them so they know they're mine. These glasses, I've seen some things. They've seen some things. We'll just leave it at that. I have a random paper towel. Oh, that's because I had an apple the other day and I wrapped it in a paper towel and now it's in my bag. Next up, while we're on the glasses theme, is my Warby Parker glasses. I just have these in there and if my contacts get like dry and I have to rip them out, I have to be able to see. I can't just cancel the whole day. So throw these bad boys on, I can see again. Next up, I have so many of these things and shout out to Figs. This surgical hat is so nice. I mean, it fits my big head perfectly. It has this liner on the inside. It's like a fleece material. So comfy. I wear these for every procedure. I have a ton of different colors. I have this color, this color, black, red. You name it, I have the color for it. They have matching scrub colors. This thing, they're actually really inexpensive. I wear it a couple times, wash it, wear it a couple times, wash it. This thing is awesome. I can go right there. Next up, we're going to get into my airline pouches. And what I mean by that is, I tend to steal, well I don't steal because they give you these, but these are the airline pouches that they give you when you travel internationally. It has like socks, toothbrush, toothpaste, lotion, chapstick, that kind of stuff for long haul flights. And I take these because they're so nice for like organizing your electronics and stuff. So in here, I have a charger, everyone's seen an iPhone charger, I'm not gonna show that. And I also have my AirPod Pros that I use on all my flights and uh, when I'm taking calls, meetings, all that kind of stuff. The old AirPods, the regular ones, just didn't fit my ear and they would always just fall out when I was like running or doing aggressive weights or something. These things are where it's at. Obviously not sponsored because Apple doesn't need to sponsor anybody because they're a trillion dollar company. Next, now we're into the other airline pouch. This is my South Africa Airlines pouch. And uh, in here, this is just what I keep like my dock kit. I bring this with me when I travel. You know, I have my eye drops, shout out Lumify, shout out Paula for getting me those. I think this is lotion. Yeah, face lotion from who knows where, contact case, ibuprofen because sometimes you travel, you get a headache, especially from mask wear, chapstick from, this might be from South Africa. Hmm, not bad. I have some pouches in here. I have some face moisturizer. I think they gave us on our last flight. I have some face wipes that I just bring on the plane with me because, you know, I have to wear a mask all day on a flight. Before you land, you need a nice little face scrub and uh, put a fresh mask on. Feel good. Good for acne. Good for limiting acne, I should say. And of course, never leave home without your floss picks because you're at work with people. You don't want to be walking around with stuff in your teeth. Next. All right. Shout out to my new wallet I got in Italy. This thing is sweet and I'm not gonna tell you who it's made by. You'll have to guess. If you know, you know. Next thing I always carry with me is the portable charger. This charges my iPad, iPhone, all that kind of stuff. I just keep it with me because, I don't know, you never know when you're gonna need a charge. Especially when you take like long day trips. For instance, when we were in Italy, we took a day trip to Cinque Terre. You know, you're gone all day, your phone is being used all day, you may need a little extra boost. So, what else we got in here? I think that's pretty much, oh wait, I forgot about the front pocket. This is the front pocket. So here it has like two flaps inside. You know, this is where I keep all the odds and ends. Maybe a little more chapstick, if you will. Almost broke my desk. Maybe a little more pen, if you will. 
hand sanitizer. Remember I got this like off-brand hand sanitizer. This was like from Whole Foods when no one had hand sanitizer last year. It smells like straight alcohol. Don't recommend it. Do we have another chapstick? Why do I have so many chapstick? I have three chapsticks in my bag and somehow I can never find one. And then last but not least, I never leave home without this one item. And what that item is, gum. Never leave home without gum. I don't know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an avid gum chewer. I just always have it. So now that it's empty, it packs like a suitcase essentially. You can fit so much stuff. It's like a great weekend bag and all you need is to carry this one backpack for a whole weekend. You can fit like three outfits in here, pair of shoes, laptop, everything. I mean, who would have thought? This is just designed to perfection. That's why I'm giving them a shout out. So thanks to Bellroy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if uh, you have any questions about some of the stuff you saw or if you have similar items in your bag. As always, make sure you smash the like button, follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you don't already. And I'll see you all when I get back from Paris on the next video. Bye.